What's up, everybody? It's Carmelo Anthony, and you're watching JR Sports Brief. Peace. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. We got a guest in the house today. We're starting off our versus series. We're at the end of the NBA season, and we got my main man, Mark John Jeffries, in the house. Say what's up, man. What's going on, y'all? Mark John Jeffries. Actor, superstar, all that cool stuff. It depends on how far your brain goes back. We're talking about uh, losing Isaiah. Mm -hmm. We're talking about you were even down with the Band Aid brand for uh -huh. a minute. Yep. Uh, Monsters Incorporated. You weren't a monster. Yep. You you were one of the voices. I was one of the voices. Fortunately, I wasn't born a monster. You know, so I'm good. Uh, some people like monsters, but uh, Mark is not one of those monsters. Uh -huh. He was a uh, little Fifty Cent. Uh, he was Lil Cease for people out there who know about Junior Mafia. Mm -hmm. You're doing stuff with uh, with Queen Latifia. You got a movie coming out yep. that Queen Latifah produced, right? Yes, sir. April 24th, Brotherly Love. All right, cool. We're going to get yep. to all of your stuff. It's the sport brief, cool. not the movie brief. Cool. We're going to get all that in there. I know you're a big NBA fan. Bro. I am. Yeah. Huge. I love basketball. Live for basketball. Now, look, you play? Uh-huh. I right. play a lot. One day we go out there and we see who can handle the rock a little bit. Better. All right, we can see. But these two dudes are professionals. We're talking mm -hmm. about uh, Steph. Curry and James Harden, mm -hmm. you know, it's the end of the season, MVP race, you know, there's a lot of other cats out there, Russell Westbrook playing out of his mind, carrying yeah. the thunder, triple-double every night, Anthony Davis, freak in nature, he's like, mm -hmm. uh, do you remember Go-Go Gadget? Go-Go Gadget, yeah, and the Inspector Gadget. Listen, brother, not everybody, you know, you have a good mind for a young cat, not everybody remembers Inspector Gadget. You gotta remember Inspector Gadget, People That's remember the movie, not the cartoon. Nah, I'm talking about the cartoon. So Anthony Davis is Go-Go Gadget, uh -huh. right? But then I think, you know, those guys on, maybe they get in the playoffs between the Thunder and Pelicans. Mm -hmm. But with Steph Curry, we're talking about a guy. Uh, 23, 24 points, mm -hmm. 7, 8 dimes a game. He's stealing. He's being nasty. He's crossing cats up. He's throwing up threes in dudes' faces. Mm -hmm. And then in my opinion, I like James Harden for MVP. Okay. He's had the carry, the Houston Rockets. Yes. Uh, he's kicking LeBron James in the nuts every now and then. <laughs> Uh, James Harden has the funky beard. Yep. Just because Dwight Howard has been out, and I think Steph Curry, he started on fire. He's had mm -hmm. a little bit more help. I would lead, lean towards James Harden. What are your thoughts on the MVP race? Um, I, I agree. You know, Steph Curry, he's a, he's a fantastic player, shooter, ball handler, everything like that. But I think sometimes he gets bumped up a little bit more than the level that he is because he's flashy, you know. So he's nice. Don't get me wrong. Steph Curry is a problem. But his 23 points, every shot was a contested shot or some crazy crossover dribble mm -hmm. compared to when James Harden can give you 35, but 20 of them came from the line. So, like, sometimes people say, ah, oh, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, because the fashion he scores in. If you took James Harden and you took him off the Houston Rockets, they would not be a playoff team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I feel that if you took Steph Curry off of the – um. The the Warriors, the, the Warriors six, they seven, would eight. be yeah, yeah six seven eight. So you know I agree with you on that one. Clay Thompson is a bad man. Yes. What do you think about LeBron? Steph Curry he recently said he was like yo, if I had to pick MVP, mm -hmm. I would either give it to myself mm -hmm. or LeBron. I mean you can't undershoot what LeBron does because every time he goes to a team they become a team in championship contention. That's a ball player. Yeah, but at the same token. Cavaliers was struggling until they brought over Jr. and Iman, so he still has that support system that he needs, you know. So I feel the MVP is that person that you put them on the team and they are the team. They're the one that makes everything stick. There's been games that LeBron set out and Kyrie and Kevin Love held it down, did their thing, you know. So, but their success didn't really start picking up even more steam until they got Jr. and, and Iman over there. So I, I can't. I mean. I think LeBron is in the discussion over Westbrook, but I can't say that it should go to him. Listen, I think James Harden is going to uh, fake flop and, and mm -hmm. fall from the free throw line to the basket <laughs> all the way to the MVP trophy. And yep. you know what? At the end of the day, Steph Curry is a bad man. I actually had a chance to talk to him and his family. He's not a, necessarily just a good dude out on the floor. Mm -hmm. He's a good human as well. Yeah, people, watch that real fast. His mama loves him. We all hear the same principles. What are, the, what are the, some key principles that you guys imparted in him growing up? Faith. Uh, putting God first, putting family next, and then that puts everything else in this world into perspective when you do that. So, God first and family. I can dig it. <laughs> and also, you know, as the NBA um, 
child of an NBA player, uh, you know, you can have the world. But my wife, we, she did a, a good job of giving giving our kids what they needed and not everything that they wanted. And I think that kept him humble and hungry, and it helped him to get to where he is right now. Yeah, so his mama loves him, and we're here with my man Mark John Jeffrey's brother. What's going on with you besides ball? What are some of these projects that you're working on? Uh, I have Brotherly Love coming out, or Kiki Palmer, right. Romeo Miller. Um, April 24th. Are you going to ball with like Lil Romeo? Can I, can I still call him Lil Romeo? Nah. He'll that, punch me in my mouth? Nah, he won't punch you in yeah, your mouth. So but. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, you can call him, right. but he ain't that little no more. No, he's a you know? big dude. He's mm -hmm. playing football and killing guys. No yeah. But he, um, Romeo was playing ball. No football. Nah, that's, that's, uh, who was playing yeah, football? Yeah, some Puff Daddy's Justin. kids yeah. and, and, uh, and Romeo Miller and Snoop. How did these guys, they rapped and they just pushed out athletes. I don't know. Well, you know, Master P played in the Oh, don't NBA remind me. For, a little like, while. A cup of coffee. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, but games. Snoop Dogg? Snoop, he big in the football. Listen, have you ever seen Snoop Dogg play basketball? Nah. I heard I watched passing. Snoop Dogg play ball at a, a NBA celebrity game. Yeah. He's 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 ruthless. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like, uh, he's dissing the ref. It's like, yo, take it easy, brother. Competitive spirit. Rebounds, disgusting. But enough about them. Talk about these projects. Let me tell me about Power. What's up? Um. Oh yeah, season two of Power, man. I got a uh, recurring role on that on season two, so it's gonna be interesting. I can't say too much, but right. it's, it's gonna be interesting. I think Power airs again in June, like June six, something like that. You're a busy man. Yes, sir. Where can people keep yeah. up with you? Let them know. Don't talk to me. Tell them out there. I know already. People, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, Mark John J, M-A-R-C-J-O-H-N, the letter J. I don't have Facebook, but there are a few of me. Don't follow uh -oh. them because it's not me. Um, that's pretty much it. Just do me one last favor, man. Just tell everybody peace. Definitely. Peace, y'all. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Of course, and we don't necessarily have, well, what are the initials? Is MMJ? What, what is my M MJ? Yeah, M you listen, man. There's a dyslexic. There's a dyslexic part of my brain that doesn't work. But one thing I do know that works is your finger. Uh -huh. You take your finger, whether it's on your iPhone or anything, and you follow this man, and then you hit that subscribe button. MJJ, tell him. I like that. Subscribe. You know, follow then subscribe. That's the order. You know, follow then subscribe. When I give out business cards, I say read the name, know the face. Remember the word. You know, that's how you got to hit him. This was a little 50 cent. You better listen to him. This is 50 cent before the bullet holes. Uh -huh. You better listen to him. Yup, 50 modeled his life after me. Now I'm just playing. He didn't do that. Yeah, that didn't make sense.